Scorpio friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, August 26th to September 8th, 2019. And just keep in mind, Scorpio, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, you know, just take what does, leave what doesn't. Definitely watch your other signs. It really is so important to do that. I am using the Arcanium Tarot deck for you guys. You guys seem like you guys are a mile away from me here. Okay. All right. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. Ten of Wands, Scorpio. I fell out of the deck for you guys. Burdens, things that are weighing on you, too much heaviness, could be anything, family, friends, love, but you are at the end of a cycle, oh my god, cards are, I swear I'm starting to feel like I'm on Facebook Live, seven of wands, you're feeling defensive, guarded, and stressed out, the page of cups, sign of Pisces, an offer of love um, or an opportunity that makes you happy. You know, I feel like with the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Wands, this offer that comes in just adds to all of the burdens, the stress, the struggles. You already have enough on your plate. I cannot believe this. They did not flip over. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. I can't make this shit up. Scorpio. Did not flip up. We're not looking at it. That feels perfect. Okay, Scorpio. I am using the um, Arcanium Tarot. I wasn't sure if I mentioned that. Your cards were going crazy. Three cups. Wow, the star, sign of Aquarius. Beautiful. Three of Wands. <laughs> Scorpio, that's already too many threes for me. Wow, the Three of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Ten of Swords. The Four of Cups. The Nine of Swords. I swear to God. Listen. Facebook Live on Wednesday for your weekly general reading. You had the Nine of Swords and the Three of Cups. That's crazy. Wow. The Eight of Cups. Look at that moon, though. You are looking to the future. You are definitely walking away from something that is emotionally definitely no longer serving you. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, okay. 
Scorpio, the tower. Well, you guys are coming in full force. All right, interesting. <laughs> you guys are my most favorite to read for. Those of you that are new and don't know that, you guys are very interesting, and I'm shocked that, and I think I even clarified for you guys, and you ended up with the Eight of Cups. Uh, it was just very, and I'm, I, the only reason I remember is because it was very similar to your monthly. Okay, and I'm pulling you guys one of these beautiful cards. Anything with moon on it. Hey, I love it. Queen of the moon. Um, August 30th, new moon in Virgo. For those of you that care. tower going through some big changes Scorpio this definitely could be something happening very very suddenly chaotic something that totally out of your control a big shake up Wow, the Ace of Wands is under this. Interesting. The Queen, wow, the Queen of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. Well, that's nice. So... So in particularly, you Scorpio female, I just can't, wow. All right, obviously definitely big change is coming in, but I strongly feel like this is very positive changes for you Scorpio. You know, you've probably been going through, oh, look at this shit you have. Five of, five of Swords. Some of you definitely feel defeated. But the Four of Wands. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. Guys, that's a new life. That's a, a new job. That is a big-ass pentacle. I mean, this deck is absolutely just beautiful in itself. But... Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Queen of Cups. Stunning. Intuitive. Lots of communication. Lots of blue in this card. A lot of growth. Stability. Success. Abundance. Happiness. Really, after dealing with bullshit. And then the strength card is under that. Having the patience to get through it all. The Knight of Pentacles. It probably took forever. Two of Pentacles. You guys were juggling. That's all behind you. Well, maybe not this water sign. The Ace of Wands and the Tower. Look at the colors in these. I'm going to be honest. I do like the Tower in this deck. So, I do feel like definitely for some of you, I mean the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and this tower, 
because this tower is different. This could be a home, a building, definitely. For some of you. The Ace of Wands, that is an exciting new beginning. Some of you, you know, are moving to this new home, starting a beautiful new beginning. But, you know, some of you might be moving on, moving forward and not looking back. You're moving right toward the light, right toward the moon. Which really, for some of you, could be in Virgo season. With the Ace, you have the Page of Pentacles here. Or in your season. You know, there's a lot of positivity, on obviously, here. You know, for all of this to happen in two weeks. But what? I, but you're letting go and moving on. You're just. I do see you very focused on the future. So if there was a shakeup or an ending, this was definitely for your highest good, and probably really meant to be. You're meant to move in a different direction. You know, the tower could represent something that wasn't built on a, on a, on a, on a, uh, if I could speak, on a solid foundation. You know, so it crumbles down. But, you know, for you guys... Once it crumbles down, you have so much better. For others of you, there's definitely something going on with three people, like a love triangle. Yes, it is a general reading. It definitely could be with friends, family. It doesn't always have to necessarily be love. But you do have a lot of threes in this reading. Three of Cups, Three of Swords, Three of Wands. So for some of you, definitely involved in a third party situation. But this is either you or maybe, you know, another water sign. The Queen of Cups. Maybe an Aquarius. It doesn't even matter. You have air. But someone is just over it. They're done. It's like, let's say it's you. You're just not going to deal with this situation any longer. Some of you absolutely have new plans, new ideas, new goals that you're thinking. And you're, you know, I, I just feel like you're, you're, you're thinking about the long-term future. And, and, and you're definitely putting your energy into new things. And you know, with the tower... There could have been literally a huge epiphany, a, a realization, an awakening. Definitely some of you are realizing something, and it's most likely regarding a three-party situation. But someone is absolutely 100% done and over it. And you have some swords cards. The three of swords, the nine of swords... The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Wands fell out for you guys. I really do feel strongly. A cycle is completing fairly quickly for some of you. Or right now. 
at this time. Things are speeding up. I mean, this... Guys, this, this is definitely an ending. I'm sorry, I didn't even show you guys these cards. I'm just like... Amazed at... I mean, go back and look at the at last week's Facebook reading. I'm just like amazed. It always seems to come up like this for you guys. Ninety-five percent of the time, anyway. But but definitely. Things are speeding up. So if this has been, you know, ongoing, you're definitely starting to see this completion. It's picking up. With the Nine Ten of Swords, I'm going to be honest, the Nine and the Ten of Swords, that Ten of Wands falling out, the Eight of Cups, the overall energy, the Four of Cups, this is exhausting. It has been weighing heavily on your heart, your mind, your body. It's probably definitely been keeping you up at night, worrying, stressing. You know, with the Nine, the Ten of Swords, honestly, though, this is behind you. This crappy cycle is completing. It is. And, you know, very, very, very suddenly and unexpected for some of you. You know, it is the, it is the damn tower. It could be like, bam, done. That fast. I mean, just these two cards is an ending. It is, Scorpio. Just because there's a woman on here, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. It could be anything, anybody. But this is what you're manifesting, that's what you're starting. Scorpio, like, a, a, please, you know, this, it is pretty specific. If you cannot resonate with this reading, please watch your other signs. Because this reading is just not a reading for all Scorpios. It's only meant for the Scorpios that are going through major changes. And Scorpio, I really do feel like you need to stay focused really, on the future. Stay focused on the light. Stay focused. Stay grounded. Don't get all emotional. It's definitely a good time to put your energy into new ideas, new goals. That Ace of Wands is under the tower. That's a new passion, a new idea for some of you. You also have the Ace of Pentacles under that Queen of Cups. You have new beginnings coming in. Definitely those of you that are involved in a third party situation, that is 100% ending. If you're in that situation, I suggest getting a private reading. And I just said this to 
I just did Aries, and I just said that to them. But you did come up, yeah, yeah, you did come up strongly in their reading. I've, I've been on YouTube three years. I've never said that to any sign. And this is going to be the second time that I'm saying it. If you're in that situation, a three-party situation, you need a private reading. Whether it's with me, someone else, I don't care. I, I'm just being honest. If it's not a three a three parties, you know, and you know, if it's not love, it it definitely could be with friends or family, and with the star, I definitely feel like you are being guided. You're being inspired, spiritually guided. To spend time with friends, family. Or, or some, maybe some of you feel grateful. I do get the grateful feeling for when I look at these two cards. Let me look at this two of cups. You know, this person, male or female, doesn't matter. Looks pretty happy. Grateful. There's only one person in, the, in this three of cups. But I would see it differently if this three of swords wasn't here, this three of wands, the tower. So, some of you are definitely being spiritually guided to definitely walk away for your highest good and feel grateful. That you got out of this situation. Others of you. Okay sure. You know. Maybe you are being spiritually. I, I, you're definitely being spiritually guided. To that. And then others of you are, de are being spiritually guided. To spend more time with friends. Family. Get out and about. Have some fun. Try to take your mind off of this. Vent to your friends. Absolutely positively needing to focus on the future and new goals. And the star does represent the sign of Aquarius. But the star is also a sure sign that you're on the right path. That you're being you know, spiritually and divinely guided on that path. That you're meant to be on Scorpio. Keep following the light. Move forward. End this cycle. That was not for your highest good. You know, with the tower. Things being shook up. Things being crumbled to the ground was. A blessing in disguise was absolutely meant to happen. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. So it would put you on the right path. The page of pentacles could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that you could be dealing with. Or news, information coming to you from an, from an earth sign, something being offered to you over the next two weeks. But with the Four of Cups, you know, this, uh, this is about you know, an offer being presented to you, but it's like, it's not, a, it's not what you want or what you had planned. You know, you want this big cup up here. You're not satisfied. You're emotionally bored. You're emotionally discontent. Sad. There needs to be a compromise that you need to, to make. Whatever is being offered to you, you know, it could also be, you know, work, financial, but I do feel like you need to compromise in some way, shape, or, or form. I really feel like right now, it's just time for you to focus on the future, new goals, definitely stay positive, 
try to stay out of your head with the star because there's no doubt you are being spiritually guided. I know it's staying out of your head is easier said than done because I'm a, I'm a Virgo. We're not much different. But it is really, I mean, the eight and the nine. That's not good, Scorpio. I'm serious. Oh, I almost missed this. I'm talking about, you know, spiritual and everything. Listen to me. There's a dove right here. I, I, I just seen it just now. You are being spiritually and divinely guided to get out of this shit state. You definitely are. I can't make this up. That's a dove, my friends. That's your, you're being inspired to definitely end this cycle. I'm also going to put this out there. Whether it's you, Scorpio, or someone that you know that has to have, you know, maybe some kind of surgery. Again, you do have this spiritual protection surrounding you. Any kind of surgery. I don't care what it is. You do have this spiritual protection surrounding you. You are, you really are being spiritually protected. And if you're someone that has to have a surgery, I'm just, I'm getting that, which I never do. I can't say never. You guys are probably my second time that I've ever said this to. If you are someone that needs to have surgery, you really, and again, I know it's easier said than done to stay positive and optimistic and stay out of your head. Believe me, I know that's easier said than done. <sighs> Get a private reading. Sure, I could sit here. I do feel... You have the star. It's the most powerful healing card in the deck. Even this Three of Cups to me feels like healing. What's it? Oh, we already did it all. I mean, you are... And to be honest, Scorpio, you know, worrying about it, stressing over it, and I've heard this same shit before. I get it. What good is it really going to do you? It's really not going to do you any good to worry about it. It's not. Again, I know that it's easier said than done. You do have spiritual protection here. Those of you that it's a relationship or a, a job is ending something or someone or someone is leaving your life. I do. I really, I feel like something was seriously lacking in that relationship. Someone whether it was you or them, was just not happy. One of you was just emotionally unfulfilled. They just were. This surgery thing has me worried. What would your next card have been, Scorpio? 
Oh my god, come on, listen. I, I can't even make this shit up. Look at the stars around this Wheel of Fortune. You're absolutely at the end of a cycle. Good fortune. Good wealth. Good promotion. Raise, getting something started. Just like the Ace of Wands, getting something off the ground. Listen, spiritually guided, higher forces at play. I keep saying you have spiritual energy. Oh, and at the last second, I decided to do this. Karma, destiny, things happening on a grand scale. Things happening the way they're meant to happen. That's the star. Being guided on the on the path that you're meant to be on. I can't make this shit up. Scorpio, are you kidding me? This is absolutely just astonishing. Astonishing. I can't wait to see your oracle card. Boundaries. Interesting. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure about what I want to say about that yet. I don't know. Do you need to set some boundaries? If there was lies, deception, Something that did happen, you know, very suddenly, quickly, out of the blue, unexpected. You need some sort of boundaries. Some of you might even need to take a step back to be patient with yourself. But Scorpio, you absolutely, positively have new beginnings coming in. You're on, you're being just... Stay focused on whatever it is you're, you're focused on. Your goals, your plans, your ideas, whatever it is. Because the time is now. Which could be... Aquarius season or Scorpio season. end of December, beginning of January, um, end of August, beginning of, or end of September, beginning of um, October. Amazing. Just amazing. No matter how you spin it. With that Ace of Pentacles, I want to say, go play the lottery. Seriously. Look at that not look familiar. <laughs> look at the size of that pinnacle. Guys, it's a new life path. It is for some of you. That's passionate, excited, exciting. Some of you it, it could be marriage. That was the dubs again. That's spiritual. After dealing with challenges, conflicts, wow, I know, my mouth just, I've just, this is a long reading, I'm sorry, <laughs> I get carried away with you guys sometimes, I think, Scorpio, great reading, really, beautiful, love it, have a great two weeks, those of you that follow me on Facebook, I'll see you there Sunday, fun day. And I'll see you there Wednesday. Those of you that don't, I'll see you guys back here soon with your monthlies. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.